Here we go again. Manchester United returned to training at Carrington today, just days after their 1-1 draw with Ipswich Town last Sunday evening. The team is preparing for their crucial Europa League match against Bodo or Glimt on Thursday night. Under the guidance of head coach Ruben Amarim, the players went through a series of intense sessions designed to sharpen their skills and improve team chemistry. Amarim, who has been leading the team with a fresh approach, ensured every player was involved, from experienced stars to young academy talents eager to make their mark. The training session included tactical drills to enhance the team's organization and focus, particularly in defense and midfield transitions. This comes after the squad struggled to control key moments against Ipswich Town. The players also worked on improving their finishing, with strikers and attacking midfielders practicing shooting drills to boost their goal-scoring chances for the upcoming game. Another highlight of the day was a focus on set-piece routines, with both defensive and attacking scenarios being rehearsed. This could prove critical against Bodu or Glimt, a team known for their disciplined and structured play. Young academy players were given the chance to train alongside senior players, showcasing their talent and determination. The inclusion of these young players highlighted Amarim's commitment to developing future stars. Reports from Carrington indicate that several academy players impressed during small-sided games and tactical exercises. Players who recently represented their countries in international matches were also present, integrating back into the squad seamlessly. Their fitness levels were assessed, and they were included in light training to manage workload and recovery. Thursday's match is crucial for United's European campaign, and the team's performance in today's session reflected their determination to secure a win. With a mix of experience, youthful energy, and tactical preparation, Manchester United fans will be hoping the team delivers a strong performance under the lights at Old Trafford. The players appeared motivated throughout the session, with Ruben Amorim paying close attention to individual performances. His approach of giving detailed instructions and providing instant feedback seemed to boost confidence across the squad. Senior players like Bruno Fernandes and Casemiro took on leadership roles during drills, encouraging younger teammates and ensuring everyone remained focused on their tasks. As Thursday's match approaches, fans will hope the hard work at Carrington translates into a commanding performance on the pitch. A win against Bodo or Glimt would strengthen United's position in the group and build much-needed momentum. With the mix of experience, youthful hunger and Amarim's tactical expertise, United looks well prepared to rise to the challenge. In other news, Manchester United forward, Marcus Rashford got the Ruben Amorim era off to a perfect start before familiar problems emerged. Ruben Amorim made a bold call in his first match in charge, selecting Marcus Rashford as striker. It was not a complete surprise. Rashford had a whole week of training, and there was speculation the academy graduate could be utilised in the role. Rashford took just two minutes to score, yet failed to get another shot at goal during the game and faded, substituted on 68 minutes. Marcus Rashford's early strike came courtesy of excellent work from Ahmad sweeping in a first-time finish from close range after a terrific run from the wing-back. United's front three did not quite click as the game went on, and speaking after the game, Amarim admits the Rashford's hold-up play is below par. Speaking to Dazen quoted via Mai's football, Amarim explained the situation as he saw it, admitting it was detrimental to the team. Amarim said, The main thing is that they tried. We lost some balls, we played with Rashford up front, and we lost some physicality, some ability to hold the ball. We had two training sessions, and it's such a big change. We have to think about the next game and the Europa League. Rasmus Hojlund replaced Marcus Rashford up front, and he produced an imperfect performance with his own 22 minutes plus stoppage time. But while Rashford is in one way a winner after scoring the first goal under Amarim, it's clear the head coach will look to experiment. Amarim wants to take a look at more players, and holding the ball up is one of Hodgland's strengths. United actually got back into the game more as the second half went on. If the new boss feels that the Dane will have a bigger impact on the team than Rashford did, then the door is open for him to start against Bodo or Glimt and try and stake a bigger claim. Hodgland can provide the physicality Rashford lacks, and it is certainly not an open and shut case that Rashford will lead the line against Everton next weekend. Meanwhile, Owen Hargreaves was impressed by one Manchester United star who was handed a new role by Ruben Amarim. Ruben Amarim made several bold choices in his confirmed 11 to face Ipswich Town on Sunday, 
with a handful of players put in experimental new roles in his 3-4-3 formation. It looked as though the players had taken to a Morim system brilliantly when Marcus Rashford fired Manchester United into the lead early on, but performance levels quickly slumped and United ended up drawing 1-1 against Ipswich. Amarim conceded that United will have to suffer for a long time as they learn his style of play. But there were some promising signs that some players looked well suited to his philosophy. Nusair Mazraoui and Ahmad Diallo impressed in new roles, and Owen Hargreaves singled out the latter for praise. Ahmad Diallo had to wait patiently to get his chance under Eric Ten Hag, but he was handed a starting spot straight away by Amarim. He repaid his faith immediately by bursting down the right, beating two players and setting up Rashford for the opener. Ahmad looked well suited to the wing-back role, but was pinned back defensively more than he would have liked. Ahmad sent a seven-word message after the draw and urged fans to trust the process under Amarim. The 22-year-old definitely appears to have a bright future under the Portuguese coach, but Hargreaves is not convinced it will be as a wing-back. Speaking to Premier League Productions, Hargreaves said, I expected a lot more from United. The first goal that Manchester United scored was terrific. Right from the back, everyone was involved. Brilliant goal. Fantastic from Ahmad and Marcus gets on the end of it. I loved it. There were patterns of play. It was lovely. Everybody was involved. Ahmad was terrific. I thought, what a start. Two minutes in, Marcus gets into a position he needs to be. Dallo is there. Garnacho is there. Great goal great start. Then basically after that, they didn't do any more of that. I think Ahmad playing as a right wing back being left footed, I'm not sure. I think he played okay today and he did brilliant setting up the goal. In what was a fairly deflating performance from United, Ahmad was one of the biggest standouts. He played like he had a point to prove and that point is likely that he deserves to start. He should retain his spot against Bodo or Glimt on Thursday evening. A glance at Ahmad's statistics from the match proves just how effective he was on Sunday afternoon. He only trailed United captain Bruno Fernandes in terms of key passes, and his assist to Rashford means he now has three goals and three assists in all competitions, despite fighting for a starting spot. In other news, Ruben Amorim discussed Bruno Fernandes, Alejandro Garnacho and Joshua Xerxes following his first game in charge of Manchester United. The Portuguese, 39, was in the dugout as the Red Devils were held 1-1 by Ipswich at Portman Road. Man United had gotten off to the perfect start when Marcus Rashford turned in Ahmad Diallo's cross after just 81 seconds. But Amarim's side were pegged back by Omari Hutchinson's deflected strike prior to half-time. After the game, United's new boss admitted that his players will take time to adapt to his ideas, claiming that they will have to suffer. Chatting to Sky Sports, he also discussed several of his players individually. On his skipper, he said, Bruno Fernandes, I think he improved his game by playing nearer the ball, feeling the ball, so he can give us sometimes the long pass. But you cannot put him there all the time because he wants the long pass all the time. So we try to find things about the players. We will need a lot of time to work out these things. He then claimed to have immediately learned new things about winger Garnacho. Amarim added, You start discovering things that you didn't know like Garna can hold the ball between lines. You can understand that by seeing the games because he's always open so you try to find these things. Amarim left summer signing Xerxes out of his first starting eleven, instead opting to deploy Rashford up front. He summoned the forward in the 68th minute, bringing him on for Christian Eriksen. Xerxes, 23, played off fellow substitute Rasmus Hojlund after being introduced. But boss Amarim wasn't fully satisfied with his display. He said, I think that decision-making is a concern. You don't need to coach them at this level. You have to keep the ball and know the momentum to put the ball in front. Sometimes you feel that you can't keep the ball and you have to put the ball in front. Then you have like we are in the end of the game, we were around the box with two strikers. Josh has to understand that he has to go to the box to have the crosses. So we are doing some things that were not at the right moment. So that is something we have to address. Sometimes people talk about the 3-4-3. That is not the concern. The system is the system. But the understanding of the game is what we have to improve a lot in this area. Manchester United return to action on Thursday evening when they host Bodo or Glimt in the Europa League. Meanwhile, manager Ruben Amarim continued to reflect on his team's performance in the 1-1 draw against Ipswich Town, acknowledging the challenges of implementing his ideas after just two days with the full squad. Speaking after the match, 
Amarim highlighted a tendency among the players to overthink during the game. I think my players were thinking too much during the game, Amarim admitted. You could feel it. This is normal, but I want the process to be clear. It was just two days, with the full squad. United's performance showed glimpses of Amarim's tactical approach, but cohesion was understandably lacking as the players adjust to his methods. The game, while not the most fluid, served as a valuable learning experience for Amarim and his team. Despite the result, the Portuguese manager remains optimistic about the future. His focus now shifts to building clarity and confidence in the squad's approach as he prepares for upcoming fixtures. With more time on the training ground, Amarim is confident his philosophy will resonate with the players, paving the way for better results. On the other side, Manchester United were denied victory in Ruben Amorim's first game as head coach on Sunday, as Ipswich Town fought back to earn a 1-1 draw at Portman Road. The Portuguese was presented with a near-perfect start by his new players, when Ahmad crossed for Marcus Rashford to stab home his fifth of the season within two minutes. But Ipswich levelled just before half-time, via a smart strike from outside the area by Omari Hutchinson. Amorim made a raft of changes throughout the second half, but United were unable to find the winner that would have handed our new boss three precious Premier League points. So, in first half, Reds pegged back. Had Amorim dreamed of the perfect start when he fell to sleep last night, he could scarcely have conceived of anything better than the move which led to Marcus Rashford's opening goal in just the second minute. An entrepreneurial burst down the Ipswich left from Ahmad, in his new role at right wing-back, was the catalyst. The Ivorian international ran the ball from well inside the United half, eventually creating enough space to cross with his right. Rashford snuck in ahead of opposition goalkeeper Arijanet Murik to stab home, and the 3,000 Reds in the cobbled stand were in dreamland. But what followed during the rest of the first 45 was less fantastical. Ipswich slowly wormed their way back into the contest and drew a strong save from Andre Onana via Sami Smodic's drive from distance. Garnacho swerved one wide shortly after, but United's attacking threat faded as the half wore on. The Tractor Boys should really have levelled five minutes from time, when smart work from Leif Davis down the left carved open what seemed a gimme for in-form striker Liam Delap. But Onana produced a remarkable stop with his outstretched right hand to keep United's lead intact, though Delap really should have ensured the Cameroonian had no chance. But Kieran McKenna's side were at 1-1 soon enough, when Omari Hutchinson cut in from the right and launched an excellent left-footed strike towards Onana's top right-hand corner. It crashed in via an unfortunate deflection from the top of Nusair Mazraoui's head, which hardened Onana's task, but the East Anglians deserved their first-half parity after a committed and composed fight-back. However, in second half, its was stalemate. When the teams restarted, United almost reproduced the start to the beginning of the match, when Garnacho had the chance to score within seconds. Unfortunately, Murik was down well to parry his low effort from a narrow angle. But again, Ipswich regrouped and almost took lead when Delap flicked a low cross towards goal from inside the six-yard box. Thankfully for United, Onana was again on red alert. United had decent chances to find the target when Garnacho burst clear, and when Rashford and Bruno exchanged a neat 1-2 on the edge of the area, but good defending from Cahuste and O'Shea, respectively, put the lid on both moves. A few minutes before the hour mark, Amarim utilised his substitutes bench for the first half, introducing his former sporting charge, Manuel Ugarte and Luke Shaw who was making his first United appearance since February. There were more changes when Hojland and Xerxi replaced Ericsson and Rashford with just over 20 minutes left, but things remained evenly poised for the remainder of the contest. Xerxi blasted over from the edge of the area, and Bruno Fernandes's low free kick whistled just by Murich's right-hand post, but Ipswich also mounted phases of pressure too. Substitute Connor Chaplin didn't quite connect with Jack Clark's cutback with just minutes remaining, while Ahmad's enterprising dribble and shot in added time was stifled by a mass of opposition bodies. Ruben's Reds begin with a point on the other side. Lewandowski has shared his thoughts on Manchester United's young striker, Joshua Xerxy. Speaking about the Dutch forward, Lewandowski was full of praise for Xerxy's qualities and potential. He plays brilliantly with his back to goal and can hold the ball up, play with one or two touches and make the wingers go forward, Lewandowski said highlighting Xerxes' strengths as a modern striker. 
The 22-year-old Xerxes joined Manchester United during the summer transfer window and has gradually adapted to the challenges of playing for one of the world's biggest clubs. Lewandowski acknowledged this process, saying, It takes time to adapt, and that's normal when you join a big club with high expectations. Lewandowski emphasized Xerxes' ability to help his teammates. He is a striker who can help those around him if you know how to use him, the Polish forward added. This statement underlines the importance of understanding Xerxes' playing style to get the best out of him. Xerxes' skills as a hold-up player allow him to bring others into play, creating space and opportunities for Manchester United's wingers and attacking midfielders. This could prove valuable in unlocking tight defenses, especially against teams that sit deep. While Xerxes hasn't yet become a regular starter, his performances in training and matches have shown glimpses of his potential. With more game time and trust from Manchester United's new manager, Ruben Amarim, the Dutchman could develop into a key player for the team. For a young player at a club like Manchester United, the pressure to perform is immense. Lewandowski's comments, however, suggest that patience and proper support could help Xerxes thrive in the Premier League. Joshua Xerxes has all the tools to succeed at Manchester United, and with the guidance of experienced figures like Ruben Amorim and the support of his teammates, he could become a vital part of the team. For now, fans will be excited to see how the Dutch forward grows into his role and whether he can live up to the high expectations set for him. With praise from a world-class striker like Robert Lewandowski, Xerxes certainly has the backing to shine. Meanwhile, with Ruben Amarim now managing Manchester United, the club's transfer priorities are becoming clearer. The Portuguese coach is focused on building a high-intensity, tactically versatile team that aligns with his vision. As we move closer to the January transfer window and beyond, here's what we know about Manchester United's plans according to Fabrizio Romano. Manchester United will prioritize signing a new left-back in 2025. Last summer, the club opted for Nusser Mazraoui, believing his ability to play both as a right-back and left-back would suffice. However, Amarim's system demands a specialist in this role, particularly one who excels in attacking as a wing-back. Among the potential targets for the position are Alfonso Davies of Bayern Munich and Milos Kerkes from Bournemouth. Both players are known for their speed, energy, and ability to contribute in both defense and attack. While Davies has long been linked to Real Madrid, Kerkes is being closely monitored by several top clubs, including Liverpool. However, Christian Eriksen, who joined the club under Eric Ten Hag, is likely to leave when his contract expires in 2025. Although Eriksen has performed well in parts of the current season, Amarim's vision requires more dynamic and energetic players in midfield. This shift emphasizes the need for a younger, more intense presence in the center of the pitch, marking a move away from Eriksen's more methodical style. The Amorim's vision is intensity and energy. The word intensity has been central to Ruben Amorim's plans since he took over at Old Trafford. His approach focuses on high-pressing football, quick transitions, and players who can maintain a high work rate throughout matches. This philosophy will heavily influence the type of players Manchester United targets in upcoming transfer windows. Manchester United's scouting department will play a crucial role in identifying the right players to fit a Morim system, according to journalist Fabrizio Romano, as he announced on his YouTube channel that the club has already been monitoring several targets, including Milos Kerkes, who impressed during his time at AZ Alkmaar before joining Bournemouth. Scouts are expected to continue tracking players who possess the qualities needed for Amarim's preferred style, such as pace, technical ability, and tactical awareness. These efforts will ensure the squad evolves to meet the demands of modern football. Under Amarim, Manchester United is not just focusing on immediate success, but also laying the foundation for a sustainable future. By targeting young, high-potential talents like Kerkes and players with proven experience like Alfonso Davies, the club aims to create a balanced squad capable of competing at the highest level. The upcoming transfer windows will be pivotal in shaping a team that reflects Amarim's philosophy and restores Manchester United to its place among Europe's elite.